Notosaur head. It took experts at the Royal Terrell Museum almost five years and thousands of painstaking hours to expose this dinosaur's skin and bones. From nose to hips, the fossil reveals the scaly armor of the 3,000-pound herbivore as it looked when alive. Discovered in 2011 during an excavation at a Canadian mine, it is the best-preserved fossil of a dinosaur ever found. Royal Terrell Museum curator Donald Henderson calls this fossil the, quote, Rosetta Stone for armor. The best preserved fossil of a notosaur ever found was dug out from a mine in Alberta. Around 110 to 112 million years ago, the biting coldness of central Canada is believed to have resembled today's South Florida. The specimen would have lived in a warm and humid climate among conifer forests and meadows. In the early Cretaceous, the land known today as Alberta was blanketed by rising waters that carved an inland seaway. It's likely that a flooded river carried the dinosaur away sinking it back first into the seabed. Its quick underwater burial and the millions of years of accumulated layers preserved the fossil incredibly well. In 2011, Sean Funk, a heavy equipment operator, was working on the excavation when his bucket clipped something rough and oddly colored lumps came to sight. The 15,000 pound rock was then carried 420 miles to the Royal Terrell Museum's prep lab. Half the fossil remained intact revealing the mammal's scaly armor as it looked back then. A mosaic of armor tiles coated its neck and back, while gray circles outlined individual scales. Moreover, after working on it for many years by a team led by fossil preparator Mark Mitchell, its well-preserved skin and bones were slowly exposed. Mitchell said, quote, you almost have to fight for every millimeter. Behind its hollow eyes, the notosaur had 20-inch spikes on its shoulders, used as a defense against attacks. The grumpy herbivore, 18 feet long and weighing 3,000 pounds, was the rhinoceros of its day. The statue-like fossil looks so lifelike that museum researcher Caleb Brown announced, quote, We don't just have a skeleton, we have a dinosaur, as it would have been. Color Based on an exceptionally well-preserved Stachosaurus fossil, Paleoartist Bob Nichols created the most scientifically accurate reconstruction of a dinosaur down to its original color patterns. He declared, quote, It was a painstaking process, but we now have the best suggestion as to what this dinosaur really looked like. Dr. Jacob Vinther from the University of Bristol is known for identifying the coloration of dinosaurs by first firing a laser to highlight fluorescent materials and then using an electron microscope to spot melanosomes or pigments in cells before mapping the creature's coloration. Paleo artist Bob Nichols produced the lifelike dinosaur model out of Binther's analysis of the Psittacosaurus fossil. The Psittacosaurus, meaning parrot lizard because of its parrot like beak, was an early relative of the three horned Triceratops. It is part of the Jihol biota animals, which flourished in northeast China between 120 to 133 million years ago. After Binther mapped the fossil's coloration patterns, Nichols recreated the countershading arrangement of the skin. Further testing by counter-illuminating shadows in the fossil's body also showed that the dinosaur had camouflage abilities to protect from predators. The team then created an all-gray cast version of the model to explore lighting conditions and shadows. Compared to its camouflage-colored pattern, this additional data helped determine the dinosaur's ability to hide. Vinter predicted that the Psittacosaurus probably lived in a lower light environment, such as a forest where it could more easily blend into its habitat. He concluded, quote, this demonstrates that fossil color patterns can provide not only a better picture of what extinct animals looked like, but they can also give new clues about extinct ecologies and habitats. Tissue In the summer of 2000, the fossilized remains of a Brachylophosaurus were discovered in North Dakota. The duckbill dinosaur found in Phillips County was dubbed Leonardo, and it was practically mummified, leaving 90% of his skeleton still covered with skin, scales, muscles, and foot pads. All of these soft tissues gave amazing clues about the creature. According to Yale, hadrosaurs like Leonardo had unusually thick skin that was 31 times more likely to be preserved versus other dinosaurs. The base of the fossil's neck gave an idea of the dinosaur's strong muscles. Moreover, the soft tissue in the upper neck indicated that the profile was placed in an elevated posture much higher than previously thought. Reconstructive drawings tended to follow the curvature of the spine, filling the organic bend between the back and the head. Its snout revealed traces of a broad, keratinous beak. And on the back, hatch-shaped projections formed a midline frill, 
apparently extensions of each neural spine in the vertebral column. The forelegs, second, third, and fourth fingers shared a soft tissue mitten that covered them. Plant remains from what must have been its last meals were preserved in Leonardo's stomach. Pollen from 40 different plants provided evidence of its diet and surrounding environment. Additional research in the fossil's stomach contents showed subtle signs of needle-like worms covered in fine bristles. This 2016 finding suggested that the creature had parasites and indicated that other dinosaurs might have been hosts to similar organisms. The original fossil is found at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and a replica is on display at the Great Plains Dinosaur Museum. In 2004, Leonardo even entered the Guinness Book of World Records as the best preserved dinosaur. Brain. In 2004, a 133 million year old fossilized dinosaur brain was discovered on a British beach by Jamie Hiscox. The stunning discovery revealed mineralized remnants of brain tissue attached to an endocast, or a dinosaur's skull cast. According to scientists, the specimen is from a relative of the Iguanodon, who came to rest upside down in a pond. Jamie Hiscox was wandering around a beach in Sussex when he stumbled upon an unusual looking pebble. An in-depth analysis confirmed that its intricate textures were the fossilized remains of a dinosaur's brain, the first of its kind. The sample is believed to come from a relative of the Iguanodon, a herbivore. Soft tissues are rarely preserved because they need particular conditions to endure the passing of time, such as low oxygen levels to prevent bacteria from breaking them down. However, this well-preserved fossilized brain still showed remnants of mineralized brain tissue. Dr. Alex Liu, from the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Cambridge, explained, quote, It's a race against time to try and preserve the fidelity of these tissues before decay comes in and removes them. Dr. David Norman further explained that the central portion of the skull must have been buried in, quote, relatively shallow but stagnant water. When the animal perished, its head must have tipped over into a pond, aiding its preservation. Norman continued, quote, This amazing specimen has preserved not only the texture and structure of these very tough membranes, but the mineralization has also preserved the fine blood vessels running through these textures. Furthermore, Traces of the fine capillaries and the brain's cortex beneath the membranes could also be clearly made out. Later studies revealed the dinosaur's brain structure and intelligence was similar to modern birds and crocodilians. Dr. Norman joked it wasn't a revelation that a dinosaur had a brain, but he never expected to be able to analyze one in such detail. Tail Dr. Linda Zing of the China University of Geosciences discovered a dinosaur tail preserved in amber at a Myanmar market in 2015. Zing determined it belonged to a feathered dinosaur roughly the size of a sparrow, but could not isolate the theropod species at first. Dr. Linda Zing's discovery in Michinam, Myanmar, was the first dinosaur material preserved in resin ever found. After close examination, it was determined that the tail belonged to a feathered dinosaur and not an ancient bird. Dr. Ryan McKellar of the Royal Saskatchewan Museum in Canada explained that, quote, We can be sure of the source because the vertebrae are not fused into a rod or pega style as in modern birds and their closest relatives. Its long and flexible tail had keels of feathers streaming down its sides, and its bones, flesh, skin, and feathers provided detailed data. It's likely that the creature was caught while still alive, which kept its fluids intact while the tree resin absorbed it. Chemical analysis on the amber surface where the tail was exposed revealed traces of ferrous iron and vestiges of blood. Most importantly, examination under ultraviolet light revealed that the tail had been encased in a single resin flow, preserving it in 3D, an extremely rare occurrence, as organic matter is usually crushed by pressure during fossilization. Dr. Zhang tracked down the miner who found the piece. Unfortunately, the 99 million year old complete amber finding had already been polished for jewelry. Dr. McKellar pointed out, quote, There have been other anecdotal reports of similar specimens coming from the region, but if they disappear into private collections, then they're lost to science. Subscribe to our channels for more historical documentaries on land, skies, and seas, and click the bell icon to get notified about new videos coming out. Also, please leave a comment to let us know if you enjoyed these stories.